Hello, my dear participants. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, it's good to have you here. Um, today is our last week of this model, so I'm happy to have you here. I know that you have been working very hard in order to solve all the platform uh, exercises. So I see that you are doing great trying to find the right answer, okay? okay. So, eh, how are you doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo? He visto que han tenido algunas dificultades, eh, pero me gustaría conocer de primera mano si lograron resolver o todavía les hace falta cosas. Mm. Yo aún estoy en la sección 5.8, creo que es. Uh -huh. Pero luego voy a avanzar más y creo que han tenido problemas en el examen final. Ok, eso es lo que vi. Yo estaba mandando algunas sugerencias, pero como uno no lo está haciendo, entonces no logra ver. Pero entonces quizás ahora podamos tomar un tiempo también para evacuar las dudas. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Okay, my dears, uh, hello, it's good to have you here. Uh, we are going to continue with the topic we stopped last, last week. Uh, we started, but we didn't conclude, so I want to continue uh, with this topic. So let me share with you. Vamos a compartir. Okay, let's share this. Okay, I want to uh, remember, uh, to recall you, I need that you can remember uh, about the present perfect. <clears throat> this is a tense that we'll be, we will be using uh, during this um, model five or section five of your model. So we were talking about that <clears throat> present perfect. It's used to talk about past recent events. Uh, we don't know uh, when it happened, but uh, in it's important until now. We can talk about past experiences that we don't have to say when these events happen, but uh, we have some key words like never, ever, before, or a superlative plus ever, or a number of times until now. And then we can use a uh, present perfect for unfinished situation. It means situation that started in the past and have not finished until today. So it will continue in the future. Uh, we said that the structure is, um, for the present perfect is the subject, plus a helping verb that in this case is the verb to have. And for he, she, it, we use has, and the verb, it's in past participle, okay? El verbo se usa en pasado participio que es normalmente la tercera columna que nos aparece en la, los listados de verbos. So here you need to be careful about the, to identify which is a regular and which is an irregular verb, okay? Because in the case of the regular verbs, it's easy because you just add ed, and then the past is the same um, with the past participle. But in the case of the Irregular verbs, uh, past is different to past participle. So that there's where the challenge is because you need to memorize or um, learn, them, learn them by heart. Okay, so here, just to give you a fast review, the structure is for affirmative sentences, uh, the subject plus the verb have or has plus the past participle. For example, I have tried sushi before. The negative is the subject plus have has plus the particle not, and you can also contract in this part. And the past participle. Then you have the interrogative form, which is that we move the helping verb at the beginning of the sentence and we say have or has plus the subject plus the past participle. Have you ever have you tried sushi before? Has probado sushi anteriormente? Okay, so <clears throat> coming back to the first slide, eh, hablando de cosas que iniciaron en el pasado, pero un pasado bien reciente, ¿verdad? For example, we can say words like 
just, already, yet, recently, today, this week, this month, etc. Si usted se fija, la, las X están bien cercanas a now, que es ahora, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que es un evento pasado, pero reciente. Entonces, yo utilizo esas palabras claves y, por ejemplo, digo, eh, she's eh, had an accident. Yo les explicaba en la clase anterior que este she's no es she is. Aquí no estamos hablando del verbo to be, ¿verdad? Para la tercera persona, sino que estamos hablando de has. She has had an accident. ¿Ok? Siempre que vean así esta contracción y vean el had, entonces no es el verbo to be, sino es el verbo has, ¿verdad? Y estamos hablando de present perfect, no de presente simple. Ok. She's had an accident. I has the exam. Ella tuvo un accidente. No sabemos cuándo, pero probablemente esté en el hospital. I've, ese es I have. Ese I dijimos que era la contracción de I have. I passed the exam. He pasado el examen. Have you finished yet? ¿Ya terminaste? Yes, I've already finished. Acabo de terminar. Sí, acabo de terminar. Have you seen any good films recently? ¿Has visto alguna buena película recientemente? Recently, ¿ven? Ahí está la palabra. I haven't seen Ted today. No he visto a Ted ahora. Maybe he isn't feeling well. Tal vez no se esté sintiendo bien. Ok, what about the green? The green is past experience that we don't know when these events happen. Eh, but we use sometimes a superlative. We use words like never, ever, before. Eh, superlative plus ever and a number of times. For example, Have you ever read it? ¿Alguna vez lo has leído? I have never read it. Nunca lo he leído. Talking about a book. Tal vez hablando de un libro, ¿verdad? De una novela. This is the best food I've ever tried. Esta es la mejor comida que he probado. Tried, probado. It's a past participle. I, I've seen this film three times. He visto esta película tres veces. Okay, the red one, unfinished situations, and maybe situations that occur or started in the past, continue until now, and maybe they will continue in the near future. For example, we use words like how long, for, since, all, plus time expression, and lately. How long have you been here? Por cuánto tiempo has estado aquí? I have been here all day. He estado aquí todo el día. We have been married for 20 years. Hemos estado casados por 20 años. And maybe we will continue being married. Y probablemente vamos a continuar. Uh, I've lived in this house all my life. He vivido en esta casa toda mi vida. And maybe I will continue living here. Probablemente voy a continuar viviendo ahí. We have been very busy lately. Últimamente hemos estado muy ocupados. Ok. After... Uh, remembering you this, I just want to remember uh, about the structure of affirmative, negative, and interrogative uh, sentences. For the affirmatives, I just have the subject plus the verb have, the helping verb have or has, and then the verb in past participle. I have jumped, you have eaten, he has cooked, he has written. It has flown, we have shouted, you have drunk, they have opened. For the negatives, I just have to add the particle of the negative, not, or if I contract, I say N contraction T. I haven't, eh, esta primera me disculpo que está mal escrita, el apóstrofe no debió ir ahí, sino que está en medio de la N y de la T. I haven't jumped, you haven't eaten. He hasn't cooked, she hasn't written, it hasn't flown, we haven't shouted, you haven't drunk, they haven't opened. And as I said before, to have an, an interrogative question using present perfect, I just add the helping verb at the beginning of the sentence. And I say, have I jumped? Have you eaten? Has he cooked? 
Has she written? Has it flown? Have we shouted? Have you drunk? Have they opened? Okay, so that's the structure. I won't continue here because it's almost the same and we already solved these exercises in the past class. But now I want to do two things. First, I would like that you can perform the conversation of the platform and then we will continue with different exercises for you to continue practicing present perfect, okay? Entonces, vamos a continuar con la plataforma porque hay una speaking practice que no la hemos hecho y que me gustaría que podamos hacerla ahora. Vamos a ver. Me gustaría compartir. Ok, there it is. Ok, I have there the conversation between Jan and Todd. So basically, Jan uh, is happy to see Todd and Todd uh, is visiting New, New Orleans. So uh, what happened is that John would like to show some places of the city to John, but it seems that John have already visited those places. So I would like that you can decide who will be John and who will be Todd because I need that you can speak and that you can, you can practice a present perfect in a conversation. So I will read it first and then I want that you can look for a, for a classmate in order to participate. Okay, let's repeat. Okay. It is great to see you. It is great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. Just, Just a, few a few days. days. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really, I'm really excited, excited to, be to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I can't can wait, wait to show you the city. city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have, Have you been, been to a jazz club, club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've already, already been, been to, one. to one. Okay, oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, oh well, how about, how about a riverboat, riverboat tour? tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Oh, I've, I've already, already, already done, done, done that too. too. Have you ridden a streetcar? Have you ridden a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. You know, no, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Como mis pies me están matando. She's very, I mean, he's very tired. Okay, I would like to, that you can choose a partner and that you can perform the conversation. Ahora le doy el tiempo para que escojan a un colega, un compañero y puedan hacer la presentación de la conversación. ¿A dónde tenemos en los presentes perfectos aquí? Have you been? Have you been in New Orleans long? ¿Has estado en New Orleans eh, por largo tiempo? El otro es, eh, have you been to a jazz club yet? ¿Has estado en un club de jazz? ¿Ya has estado en un club de jazz? Eh, y el otro es, I've already been to one. Ya he estado en uno. Eh, luego el otro, I've already done that too. Ya hice eso también. Eh, ahí tenemos eh, otro, otro presente perfecto. Tenemos otro acá. Have you ridden in a streetcar? Eh, ¿Has montado un carrito, verdad? Eh, de, de los carritos de los turísticos, verdad? Que hay en las callecitas. Eh, el otro oh. es... Eh, Ok, I creo que está ahí. Ya, ya no tenemos más. Ok, so, who would like to start? Mm. 
Me, teacher. Okay, Noe, good. So, uh, who are you going to choose to do this conversation with you? Um, let me see. Isabel. Isabelita, are you Hi. there, my friend? Hi, hello, good to have hello. you here with us. I'm really Noe. Good okay. Evening. Good to see you. Um, I Jan or two? So, thank you. Okay. Um, so, me. You want to be Jen? Okay. Okay. It's great to see you, too. Have you been a New Orleans long? Um, just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I, I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a rainbow tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There a lot a, a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> Okay, very good. <laughs> Only some words. In New Orleans. In New in New Orleans, New long? Orleans. Yeah, in New Orleans. Um, the other one is is I've already been to one. I will I I I really, really already. already I already been to one. Been to yes. one. Riverboat. Riverboat. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, my dears. Uh, next team. Me, teacher. Okay, Julie, who you will work with? Mm. Katia. Okay, Katia. Hi. Hi, my Hi, dear. Katia. Okay. okay. I am young. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans? Just a few days. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, i already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh. I already learned that too. Done you, that too. Mm -hmm. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They, they are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Here today. Mm -hmm. Well, is there a meeting you want to do? You know. I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just some expressions. I can wait to show you the city. I can't to show you the city. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, can't. Es como can't. una NT explosiva al final. Can't. Can't. Yes, I can't wait to show you the city. Okay. okay. The other one is, how about a riverboat tour? How about a river riverboat tour? Mm -hmm. I've already done that. I've already, I've already done, done that. that. I've, I've okay. already done that. Yeah. Yeah. Streetcar. 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 Ajá, sin la E, no me le pongan la E, solo la S. Streetcar. Streetcar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything? Anything. Okay. Anything. Very good. 
anything. Thank you, my dear Katia and Julie. Um, You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, who else would like to continue? Nicolas, David, uh, Guillermo, Miguel. Hi, teacher. Hello, Larissa. Hello. Okay, how are you today? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. And you? Okay, fine, thank you. Happy to have you here in class, my dear. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. good. So I would like that you can choose a partner to continue with the conversation. Uh, yes, Nicolas. Okay, Nicolas, Larissa is asking for you to participate. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Okay. Uh, I'm uh, okay, Larissa. Mm -hmm. I'm young and you talk. Okay. It's great to see you tall. How you be in New Orleans, New Orleans long? Just just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yes. Yeah. I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Ooh. I've already done two. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Here? Well... Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Only one word, here. Yeah, here. here. Yeah, here. Okay, thank okay. you, Larissa okay. and my dear and Nicolas. Thank okay. you. Okay, uh, David? Hi, teacher. Hi, my dear. How are you today? Um, I'm fine. And you, teacher? Fine. Thank you. Happy to have you here in class, my dear. I would like that you Thank can you choose teach. a partner. Okay, very good. Um, you have Miguel, you have Arnold, and let's see. Yeah, Miguel and Arnold. Uh, Miguel? I'm sorry, <laughs> Miguel and you. Okay, good. So, hi, Miguel. Can you hear us, Miguelito? Yeah, and then we have Arnold and someone else. Miguel? Tiene apagado el sonido. Okay, let's see, Miguel. Uh, excuse me. Hi, Miguel. Sorry, okay. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> Miguel is there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Jen. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I haven't really been to one. Oh, well. How about our riverboat too? Uh, I've really done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good. Only two words, team. Already? Already. Already. And want. Want. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Mm, and let's see, David, could you please help me and perform the presentation with, uh, let's see, with Arnold, please. Okay. Hello, Arnold. How Hello. are you today? Hi, Arnold. Hi, 
Okay, great. Good, good to have you here in class. Uh, David is going to perform the conversation uh, with you. So David, you will play the role that you have not played before. Va a ser el rol que no hizo antes. Okay. okay. So I think... Star, Arnold. Yo empiezo. Yeah, you start. you start, yes. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been a New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have really been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to do take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, very good team. Only one word, club. Club. A club. club. It's like a, almost an, an A, club. Club. Yeah. Club. Yeah, very good. Thank you, my dears. I think that nobody else is missing from the conversation. Remember that we do this in order that you can have a speaking practice at least uh, during every um, section, okay? So I want to invite you to go to this part of the, of the platform and continue listening this conversation until you can uh, pronounce every word in a very good way. Okay, so I'm going to stop this sharing and I will continue sharing this exercise that I have for you, okay? It says uh, exercise on uh, present perfect. Uh, we will have some questions and we will have the difference between present perfect and simple past, okay? So that's what we are going to do here. Uh, let's see. Okay, there it is. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. It says present perfect, write questions in present perfect, perfect simple. Um, only the first part, okay? And we have then 10 sentences. So I'll give you one minute to think uh, in how it can be since you are, let's see, uh, 10 participants. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that means like nine and 10. Okay, I will, I, I want that you can choose one sentence and that you can write a question, okay? So write a question uh, in present perfect, okay? Using this. So I will try to copy this and move to the presentation in order to make it easier. Vamos a ver si me lo puedo llevar a la presentación para hacerlo más fácil para ustedes. Si no, lo vamos a trabajar desde ahí. Yeah, I have it. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this can be. Just give me one second. Okay. So I'll stop sh this sharing and I will share my screen. Okay, here we have. Very good. So I will do the first one and I want you to help me to do the other ones, okay? So if you see, there is a scramble. It's mixed. It's a little bit confusing the way it is right now. But the issue is that we need to put it in order first in order that we can later uh, make sentences. For example, you, it says you 
answer the question. So if I want to have a, a, an, a question, I need to put in order maybe the, the sentence first and then I say, if I have a, an affirmative sentence, how is the formula? ¿Se recuerdan de la formula como era? Ajá, ajá, pero primero que va, el subject, ¿verdad? You, you, you. Y para el subject, you is have or has. Have. You have, very good. Y answer, ¿es un verbo regular o irregular? Regular. Regular. Entonces, ¿qué agregamos? Y di, ¿verdad? Y di. You have answered the question. The question. Muy bien. Entonces, esa sería como la oración en orden, digamos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, así me quedaría poniendo en orden la oración. ¿Verdad? Así. Perfecto. Pero como lo que me han pedido, ups. Como lo que me han pedido es hacer una pregunta, entonces, de affirmative sentence, me queda así, ¿verdad? But, the question, pero la pregunta. Have you? Ajá. As you were. ¿Qué cambio? Muevo, ups. So the question is, have you, muevo el have al principio, luego tengo el subject, have you answered answer. the question? Y entonces ahí ya tengo yo una pregunta. There I have a question. So what I would like to do is that you can take one. So for example, uh, eh, my dear Noé, I will give you number two. Uh, David, okay. number three. Miguelito, number four. Katia, number five. Julie, eh, number six. ¿Quién más me falta? David, number seven. Larisa, number eight. Isabelita, number nine. Y creo que se me ha quedado mi estimado Nicolás. Number 10. Y vamos a hacer una extra para... ¿Dónde está? Se me fue el compañero. Se me desconectó. Sí, se me desconectó. Ok, vamos a ver si se conecta nuevamente el compañero. Ok, very good. So you have, a, you have been assigned with that sentence. And then I need that you can tell me how it can be in the affirmative sentence and how it can be if I change it to make a question. Quiero que me digan cómo, se va, cómo quedaría eh, haciendo eh, la, la afirmación y cómo me quedaría la pregunta. Ok, okay. okay. When, you, when you're ready, you let me know. You have affirmative sentence, and then we have the question. Okay. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Okay, my dear, tell me. Okay, number two, mm -hmm. affirmative is uh, Jenny has locked the door. Okay, Jenny has locked the door. Very good. Locked. And what about the question? The question is, has Jenny locked the door? Okay, very good. Okay, who is in charge of number three? ¿Quién está a cargo de la número tres? Me, teacher. Okay, David, go ahead. Uh, affirmative. The sentence affirmative sería mm -hmm. Walter mm -hmm. ha, has mm -hmm. called us. Has called us. Okay, very good. What about the question? Uh, 
have Walter. Mm -hmm. uh, call it us. Very good. And the question mark. Okay, nice. Uh, what about number four? Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Miguel. Um, the affirmative sentence mm. is you have saw the picture. Okay. Uh, so is the simple past. So the past participle of this verb is the present, see, the past, saw, and the past part participle, seen. Seen. You have in, seen the in picture. In this case, it's seen. You have seen the picture. Yes, you have seen the picture. Okay. okay. And what Thank about you. the question? Have you seen the picture? Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, number five, who's in charge of number me. five? Katia. Okay, Katia. Okay, Katia, tell me how it could be. The affirmative answer. Affirmative, your parents have gotten the letter. The letter, very good. The letter. What about the question? Have your parents gotten the letter? Oops. Very good. Okay. Thank you, my dear Katia. Uh, yeah. My dear Julie, or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is it has rained, rained a lot. Okay, it has rained a lot. Rain a lot. Yeah, and what about the question? Has it rained, rained a lot? Has it rained a lot? Yeah, very good. Oops, 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 oops. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, very good. So let's see, I will move this there. Okay, very good. Okay, I need, se lo voy a hacer más chiquito, sorry. Okay, number seven. Who is in charge of number seven? Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me, David. Uh, how often uh, we have song, song? the song how often we have vaya ha, vean que aquí hay una particularidad uh -huh. como es una wh esta de una vez es una pregunta verdad sí. entonces nos quedaría how often When y de una vez have ha, have, have we, we uh -huh. song song ajá uh -huh. Very good. How often have you, how, how often have we sung the song? Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, number eight. Hi, teacher. Okay, Larissa. Uh, affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm. Maureen has watched the film. Uh, question. Maureen, how... Maureen have or has? Uh, has, excuse me, has. Okay has um what about has, the question has maureen watched the film okay what about number nine thank you larissa thank you okay who was in charge of number nine isabelita or nicolas Isabelita. Isabelita, you were the owner. Isabelita is in number nine. It's similar to David. Es bien parecida a la de David, ¿verdad? Como tiene una... Como tiene una WH word, significa que de entrada es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, cuando... How? 
Ajá. How long? Ajá, uh, how? Real. Pero ahí va unido, ¿verdad? How many? Uh, how, how many, many books? books? Ajá. ¿Y de ahí qué va? Ball. O real ball. Sí, pero primero va el, el helping verb, ¿verdad? El verbo auxiliar. Uh, eh, Para vos. Has. Ok. How, how many books has? Y luego el subject. Bo, ¿Ah? Bo? Subject. Bob real. Uh -huh. Very good. How many books have, has Bob read? Very good. Thank you, Isabelita. Eh, Nicolás. Have you... Eh, afirmative. The affirmative sentence first, please. Okay. Vamos a primero la oración afirmativa, porque el suyo sí se puede. You have... You have... Uh, ¿Cuál es el pasado participio del verbo to be? En el, en el diálogo lo estuvimos practicando mucho. Have you ever... Did? Have you ever... Been. Been, ¿verdad? Entonces el pasado participio de be es been. Entonces como esta es una oración afirmativa, afirmativa be, decimos... You have been... been to London. You have been... To London. To London. Ajá. London. Va, pero si se fijan, ahí hay una palabra que yo la omití, que es la palabra ever. Que sí. cuando hacemos la pregunta, ahí sí, la vamos a utilizar. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? Eh, la pregunta quedaría... Have, uh -huh. have you ever... Have you ever been uh -huh. to London? Very good. Very nice. Very good. Congratulations. Congratulations, team. You did a great job uh, elaborating okay. simple, I mean, affirmative uh, sentences using uh, present perfect and also asking questions using present perfect. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to stop this sharing and I will go to my magic uh, PDF and I want to show you this. It says present perfect and simple past. Choose the correct answer. Pero antes de que hagamos esto quiero eh, mencionar, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el presente perfecto y el pasado simple? No, no solamente gramatical, ¿verdad? En relación a que en el pasado simple, pues es eso, ¿verdad? el pasado simple de los verbos. Eh, sino que eh, la diferencia también está en que en el pasado simple la acción ocurrió, pero terminó. Probablemente ya no tenemos, eh, ya esa acción no tiene injerencia, ¿verdad? Sobre nuestro presente. Entonces, esa es, digamos, la, la, la principal diferencia entre una cosa, que es el pasado simple, ocurrió, pero ya no tiene mayor importancia en el presente, pero en el presente perfecto es algo que pudo haber ocurrido, pero todavía sigue ocurriendo, puede seguir ocurriendo, o eh, tiene todavía importancia, ¿verdad?, en nuestras vidas ese, ese evento, ¿ok? So, Uh, can you see my screen? ¿Pueden ver mi pantallita? No. Uh, no. face, teacher. No. Permítanme, chicos. Your glasses, teacher. Ok. <laughs> Permítanme. Only, only the field. Ahí está. Es que esta es la que tengo que compartir. Es que tengo varias cosas abiertas. Entonces, ahí está. Muy bien. Ahí está. Ahora sí lo pueden ver. Now you can watch it. Yes. Okay, yeah. very good. So, it says choose the correct answer. He lived in Tokyo for five years, but he left in 1993. ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Ese es un presente perfecto o es un pasado simple? Simple past. Yes, 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 it is. ¿En cuál pondría, pondría usted? Live or have lived? Live. 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 Correcto. Have dice, 
Yo he, no, yo he lived. Yo he vivió in Tokyo for five years, but he left in 1993. Si se fijan, es una acción que ya terminó. Terminó. Yo he vivió en Tokio por cinco sí. años, pero él se fue en 1993. Ok, let's see. The Titanic sank or, or has sunk in 19... Sank. 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 También es simple past, ¿verdad? Simple past. Es pasado simple porque la acción ocurrió y pues ya no tiene, digamos, mayor relevancia a este día. El Titanic se hundió, sank, in 1912. Okay, now let's let's listen to the third one. Somebody stole or has stolen my bicycle. Now has I stolen. Have stolen. Your home. Has stolen. ¿verdad? Es algo que está que acaba de pasar. Alguien ha robado mi bicicleta. Ahora tendré que caminar a casa. Vean las palabras clave, verdad, para identificar. Now, now I'll have to walk home. Okay, the other example. Jerry Spade, Jerry fell or has fallen off his bike three times this month? Has fallen. Has fallen, has fallen. Has fallen ¿verdad? Porque en una de las, de las cuadritos que yo les mencioné decía que podía hablar también del número de veces que la acción ha ocurrido y que puede ser repetitiva. Entonces, Jerry has fallen off his bike three times this month. Jerry se ha caído de su bicicleta tres veces en este mes. O sea que el chico está aprendiendo. Ok, chica, graduated or has graduated from university last July? Graduated. graduated. Eh, yeah, but it, last July, ¿creen ustedes que es algo bien reciente? No. Mm. It can yes, no has. Yeah. Yeah, eh, para mí que es un present perfect porque es chica se ha graduado de la universidad el pasado julio eh, el pasado julio significa que todavía es de este año ¿verdad? Eh, porque si me dijera last year entonces yo diría ah graduated Ch chica graduated from the university la, eh, in July last year ahí sí ya es un pasado más pasado ¿verdad? Eh, pasado simple ya ocurrió más tiempo, pero cuando yo digo last July, significa que hace un par de meses y que es un, un pasado bien reciente. Entonces todavía puedo ocupar el presente perfecto. Aunque es correcto si yo digo chica graduated from, the, from university last July, ¿verdad? Pero puede ser también chica has graduated from university last July, porque este last... Y si no me pone un año, significa que es en el julio del año en curso, ¿verdad? Ok, let's listen. I saw the movie Titanic three times. I am going to see it again tonight. I saw or I've I seen. have seen. I 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 have seen. Correcto. Yo he visto la película de Titanic tres veces. Mm. Y luego dice, I'm going to see it again tonight. Y la voy a ver de nuevo esta noche. Ok, listen. I walked or I have walked to work every day for the last six, last six weeks. I have walked. I have walked. ¿Verdad? He caminado a trabajar cada día durante los últimos seis meses. And probably she will continue walking. Y probablemente va a continuar trabajando. I mean, walking, caminando. Maybe because her car is broken. Maybe because her job is near uh, her home. I don't know, but he says for. Está la palabra clave, ¿verdad? For. He eh, caminado al trabajo eh, cada día durante los últimos seis meses. Ok, very good. Uh, let's see. The last one. When young he was a child, she lived or has lived in Seoul? Has lived. Has. She lived. She lived. She, yeah. lived. she lived. Vivió en Seúl. Todavía, esa, perdón, esa acción ya terminó, ¿verdad? Ya no tiene... Porque está ahí un pasado. Cuando yo era un niño, 
when John he era un niño, era, era una niña, perdón, ella vivió, lived in Seúl. Ok, ouch, I cut my finger, or I've cut my finger. I cut. I've cut, ¿verdad? Porque es, cut. Es un, ahorita acaba de pasar, es un pasado bien reciente y me está afectando en mi presente porque me está doliendo. Oh, my thing, oh, ouch, I've cut my finger. Me he cortado mi dedo. Ok, uh, let's see. I lost or I have lost my key yesterday, so I couldn't get into the house. Eventually, I found it in my jacket pocket. I have, I lost. have lost. I have lost. Okay, veamos cómo nos quedaría. Yo he perdido mis llaves ayer, así que no pude entrar en la casa. Eventualmente las encontré en mi chaqueta, en la bolsa de mi chaqueta. I lost. I, I lost, lost, ¿verdad? Ahí sí. Perdí mis llaves ayer. Eh, so, y, y vean, la oración tiene un punto yeah, después yeah. de house. Entonces, es un pasado simple. I lost my key yesterday, so I couldn't get into the house. Es una sola oración. Entonces, yo perdí mis llaves ayer, así que no pude entrar a la casa. Punto. Luego comienza otra y dice, eventually I found it in my jacket pocket. Eventualmente las encontré en la eh, bolsillo de mi chaqueta. Ese es un pasado simple. Lost. Ok, very good. I hope that this can be clear. Espero que esté clara la diferencia entre el present perfect y el simple past. So, now I would like, um, I would like that you can share with me if you have any uh, problem with the platform, something that you would like that we can say to Marvin or to help you a little bit more. Eh, teacher, yo con la plataforma no tuve problemas, con lo que tuve problemas fue con el listado que mandó de los verbos. No lo pudo descargar o No algo lo así. pude descargar. Tal vez si sí lo puede compartir otra vez. Vaya, de acuerdo, voy a, eh, ¿sabe que Hagamos una cosa para no saturar a los demás, escríbame usted. Ah, va. Y yo se lo mando directamente a usted porque si no les va a caer nuevamente a los chicos. Sí. Y, y no, pues también a mí, teacher, porque igual no lo re, yo no, no recuerdo haber recibido. Vaya, me escriben Por los favor. dos para poderle yo mandar a cada uno. Solo asegúrense que su teléfono tiene la app para poder abrir PDF, porque sí. precisamente para no ah, robarles sí. mucho espacio, eh, usualmente mando las cosas en PDF, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Igual, Ok, my dears, de acuerdo. Solo confirmenme algo. Les mandé lo del presente perfecto en la, en la clase anterior. No, no, ¿verdad? No, no. Bye. Bye. Ok, entonces se lo voy a mandar y, y le voy a mandar sí. nuevamente entonces el, el listado de verbos a todos mejor porque veo que Por favor, teacher. Please, teacher. Okay. 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 ok, my dears, very good. I will stop the class here. Um, I hope that you can rest. I know it's Monday, it's very heavy. <laughs> We are tired after the weekend. Yes. And it has been a very heavy weekend because of the rain. So I want that you can go and rest. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? You too. Okay. Okay. Good night. Sure. You Thank you, John. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night.